This evening we're hearing for the first time about allegations that some employees of the Department of Veterans Affairs altered records to make it appear that vets were receiving disability checks faster than they actually were. This comes after investigators found that some VA employees had cooked the books on wait times for medical visits. A key witness will testify tonight to Congress, but you're going to hear from her first in this story from Wyatt Andrews. I thought that we were supposed to come help veterans. Kristen Rule is a whistleblower who handles compensation claims at the VA regional office in Philadelphia. In testimony to Congress, Rule says VA employees have been instructed to falsely change the date of when veterans first apply for disability benefits. The idea, she says, is to make the wait times look shorter. She says thousands of vets who may have waited years for a disability decision are reported in the system to have waited weeks. It didn't matter in our office how old the claim was. They didn't want any claims older than a certain date, so they would put a memo on the claims so that the claims looked new. Do we have any idea how many veterans this applies to? I can say for sure there's thousands that were done in my office. Rule says that changing the date hurts the veterans who've waited the longest because the oldest claims are supposed to be handled first. Some of the veterans have died waiting for their claim to be processed. And if it has a newer data claim, it's not a priority. The VA's Office of Inspector General has confirmed her charge of date changing, saying the practice makes the average number of days that claims have been pending appear better than it would be. VA headquarters has begun an investigation to learn if disability wait times are falsely reported nationwide. In a statement, the VA promises veterans that all claims impacted by this will be identified and corrective action will be taken. Ruel's charge of fake wait times for disability sounds close to the now proven charge of fake wait times for health care. She says it's for the same reason, looking good to line up bonuses. Scott, her testimony comes as the VA is claiming great success, reducing the disability backlog. Wyatt Andrews in our Washington newsroom. Wyatt, thank you.